Hello everybody, welcome to the second round match, season 48 of CCL, between Ploppen and his Skaven, and Shtick and his Undead. Shtick of course with the uh, Australian logo, because he is Australian, not actually German, I don't know why I thought he was German, but I always thought he was German, for no reason. <laughs> Just literally no reason, I genuinely <laughs> believed he said he was German, but there you go. Um, so what have the rats got? An edge up, a move up, another move up. So they've got two natties. A tackle pommer, but no claw. Tragedy. 13 players total. The necro have got might go tackle. Wolf, bloodstep, really nice. Really nice. Uh, lodger, some guard. A little bit light overall. And then they're not even getting any inducements. It's, in fact, it's the Skaven getting the inducements, Jesus Christ. Oh, we've got a half dacker. We've got a bit of a half dacker. He's left the LOS up there, but we ran everyone else back. Interesting. I wonder if there's, like, something like for Skaven, right? I wonder if there's an offense if plan for Skaven. Because Skaven are a bit shit, I find, on offense. Because, like, they just haven't got a lot, have they? They haven't got a lot. Like, often they'll end up in trouble against, like, strength 4 teams. Because they don't. They've got to rely on 3 plus dodges a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. There you go. Instant remove. Wolf is a little bit exposed, but barely. So that's, that's quite reasonable. The great thing now is that is being able to keep the walls back as safeties, isn't it? It's like insane, really. It's gonna make this this very difficult for the uh, rats. But yeah, maybe the half deck is pretty good for rats, eh? Look at them rolling three pluses, Jesus Christ. I could never, I could never, I could never play rats because I think it's a three plus. It's just not possible. Just not possible to roll a three plus. Ah, uh, yes. Stand firm on the sidelines, very nice. through the middle. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Not what I would have done. Who can say if it's good or bad. <laughs> Absolute shithead necro blitz. <laughs> that is, that is as shithead necro as it gets, isn't it? <laughs> oh wow, he's he just ignored hitting them in an effort to break through. I mean, does he not know that that Skaven on movement nine? I would have tried to bang out that wolf all day. And like it's not even like that's even even if he gets the knockdown there, I guess they can get through the Skaven. Like, it's not amazing anyway. <laughs> yeah, out of 100% bang the wolf. Does he. Does. Does Plopper know that. Uh, <laughs> that wolves have frenzy? 
<laughs> he's just chilling out there. <laughs> I guess he had to protect the ball. Maybe he should have done that first day, knowing that he was going to make a double GFI blitz. Flip me, guys. That was weird, wasn't it? Oh, we've got an overcommit from Shtick, though. This is... This is very much... I guess this one's going to come back, okay. I still like him in the sideline, just because it's strength four, isn't it? And then also, like... You know, like, if, you go, if the skip and go over here, like, this guy can't get there with move three anyway, right? So you might as well have him over there, and he can't get there with move six. So, like, if, if the rats push forward here, neither one's getting over cover. So you might as well have the faster one near the middle, so he might be able to get over. If you see what I mean. As well as I quite like strength four on the sideline anyway, making it harder to break through the side. Because, like... And I hate this, by the way. I hate moving these here, just keep them directly behind, because you just give him a chance. I mean, he is scared enough for all. He can just scoot up the sideline now. Yeah, this is a bad turn. Re real bad turn, I would say. Frothy mug of water. Mm. I don't think this was trap space. I think this was playing against Skaven and letting them beat you. <laughs> no, no sidestep though. He does like GFS, doesn't he? What? Is this... What? Is this real life? <laughs> Is this... What? <laughs> what? Oh, there you go. Amazing that didn't work. I'm shocked. Flip me. Yeah, he's moved three. Unfortunately, the 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 flesh is moved three. So. Unbelievable. Like just literally unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> at least he had this given up. At least he had this got runner up here. <laughs> he didn't bother actually. Didn't bother actually screening the ball at all. <laughs> but this GFI made it worse as well, didn't it? <laughs> that was that was not good from Popper. I think it's safe to say. Well, this does definitely prove that the DACA is bad, yeah. Yeah, it was definitely the DACA that failed in this game. <laughs> this, was, this, was, this proves the DACA is a bad strategy. Yep. Reroll. Oh my god. It was his drive, wasn't it? It was the Skaven drive, so. Oof, he kind of had to. Well, time for a very safe ball. And a surf. And a foul. Maybe he can't do all of that. Yeah. 
Exactly. It, it's well known that a no a conventional drive never ever fails. Yeah, exactly. We all know that. He's not even making the surf. Oh dear. Shtick, you gotta surf him. Oh, I guess now you get to do the foul though. You gotta surf him. Okay, you don't. Fouling this guy is fine. Oh. I just surfed him. Well, I say that, I would have attempted and failed to surf him. Oh god, this was... <laughs> this guy wasn't here. Oh dear, oh dear. This is a pretty funny game, isn't it, to be fair? <laughs> Mistakes have been made, it's fair to say. Oh, he, he's picked up the ball. <laughs> Is he going to long bomb it? <laughs> oh my god, he's in range. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, I thought the ball would have been protected, but it wasn't. Basically at all, and then that's what happened. Holy shit. And is it just in range? He's just at fully in range, sprint show of feet. <laughs> he did leave it in the quadrex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was... It's looking like a perfect it, it turn drive, isn't it? He's used the blitz. He's blocking instead of basing. I mean, not that basing really does anything, so it's probably not worth trying to base him, but... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Honestly, I don't know what the blitz was, but... Surely you blitz that one. Oh, I guess, okay, so you try and get the wolf on. Hmm. I guess that's okay, he hasn't got it really wrong. Well. Makes the two plus. And it's here fast. Perfect eight turn stall. <laughs> I love to see this happen to Dakar coaches. <laughs> unbelievable. Literally unbelievable. Holy shit. That was crazy. I'd leave the ball so on against the against the sack. It almost didn't defend it at all, right? It was just a 3 2 to hit the ball. That's, that's really, that is really poor. Defending the ball <laughs> is super easy. Way, hey, hello, Satatar. <laughs> Fucking quadrex. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
P. Diddy. Is it? Because what if you get your dirty players sent off? I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. But it's not bad, is it? Because on the other hand, it can it can lead to like a snowballing effect of just removing players. That's kind of the, a foul that Ducky would make, and I wouldn't. Maybe he's could have fouled with just a rookie, right, so that you're not losing the dirty player on the uh, on the good players. Fouling good players, J5, like fouling the the gutters. That you know they can win the match. Not the absolute shit head by me. I would have rather fouled with it with just a rookie. But to guarantee having the dirty player for good players. But yeah, it's not it's not like I'm saying I'm right and anyone else is wrong. There isn't arguing for that J5, yeah. Like that's what, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm right. I'm 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 just saying it's not what I would have done. But who can say if it's right or wrong? There's pros and cons, isn't there? There's pros and cons to making that foul. As we saw uh, in the first half, it only took three gutter runners to turn a one-nil score in one way into the other way, and the uh, linemen were pretty irrelevant in that. Did he? <laughs> That's true, Johnny Five. That is, that is how it seems to work these days. It's weird, isn't it? It's it's weird how like, how kind of like tribal everything's become. It's pretty weird. I guess with all like the internet and the echo chambers and everything, it's... Here's what it is. It's true though, there's two opinions, mine and the wrong one. Four. Four. He's in the stand firm. What a bad ass. Maybe should have put someone here though, right? Can anyone reach? Hmm, not really. Might have been an idea to like to have worked it out in such a way that someone could have gone in there so they get next to my block. Here. On pushes, or just done blocks first, so that I don't have to do that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it turned out to be terrible, didn't it? It turned out to be terrible that, but you know, yeah, yeah. All right. But it, it was a nice idea. <laughs> I wasn't really paying any attention and thought it was okay. Okay. The rest is going to one turn, yeah, and we've got two 90s, so they're quite happy. And it wasn't nice, was it? Because you've got blocks, then you use the blitz afterwards. Make your blocks work out where your blocks go, and then use your blitz at the end.
Yeah, defensive DAC, I love to see it. Like, you know, rats are no rats are absolutely no strangers to the defensive DAC, right? Like that's pretty standard that's been pretty standard Skaven play forever. The just the uh we're one nil up, we'll just we'll just won't defend and win with a natty. It's like that's that's a Skaven strategy as old as time, isn't it? Uh but I re I really find the uh the offensive DACA very uh very interesting. Wow, really don't want to blitz with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just really is a pacifist blitzer, isn't he? <laughs> he either doesn't hit or he fails his GFI. And now the wolf gets pawned. With a free assist. Oh, he doesn't get pawned. Wow. Very catwardly scathing. This is the right. This is the right play from the Skaven, wasn't it? Like the knight is too strong, and he's already down players. This is uh, this is definitely the the way to do it. And even if you fail in the knight, you've still got 50-50 to win the toss and have another chance at it. So makes you wonder if it's worth just banging it in as the as the necro, and then seeing as seeing how inept. The uh, first drive was for the Skaven. Give them a chance to fuck up a normal drive is maybe the best play, right? Because you just need two lords to, to, to win against the, the, the Nattings. So I, I would say hand off, to, hand off to the Wolf and score now. Score this turn as the play. Fouling doesn't matter. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. They've lost. They've, they've literally lost now, right? They've just lost, and nothing they're doing is going to change that at this moment in time. They have to, like, they have to insanely go for the for the for the gutters. Like both both wolves need to like chase them down at all costs, or or they need to score in like two or three turns to put. To put the rats on offense, because otherwise, you just like you're so high percentage to lose to the Nazi. It's ridiculous. It's not even that good a Nazi, but it's 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 still very likely they just score, isn't it? Like it's too likely. The fact that they might have two chances at it as well. And the fact that he gave you such a good defence, such a good chance in his previous offence. Really enough chasing of the nanny, is it? Vas-y, mon gars! Mors in eye! Well, yeah, but I mean, they need to get try and get to them as well, not just mill around at midfield. 
Like fouling a line rat doesn't do anything now, does it? You need to chase after the natties. I haven't really tried to. I haven't really done anything. Just gone. Oh, we'll stall this out for eight turns. I mean, someone who's not trying to stop us stall out for eight turns. <laughs> Going to hit him. Jam in a bit. Keep someone back. Except they can't really keep anyone back because they haven't removed many people. Like, you've got to take chances with a ball, though, right? Because you're just not going to win. You're not going to win if you don't take chances with a ball. So I guess maybe you just blitz there with a mighty blow. Maybe, like, he's not mighty blow. Blitz with a stand firm white. And then keep, like, the wolf ready to hunt down the air. Yeah, it's just like a triple move bust goal, is it? I don't know why. Just run there. Fair enough. I mean, that's why I really need like a wolf back here somehow, but it was hard with the other wolf getting stunned. Well, you can hit a crap gutter. You can hit this gutter, can't you? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI. You can hit that one, move the wolf down to midfield. Never, Helenies. <laughs> There's your answer. Well, not never. Uh, maybe if they get a new client, a new skillable client. But not as it stands. Get him back. Get him back to chase the... Get him back. Get him back here so he can chase the natty. You can't win if he has a natty. It's not possible. It's just not possible to win this game if the opponent has a natty. This this guy could have been up here. Or here, somewhere, somewhere. Makes a kill. Amazing. But without that foul, he would have been here. Wolf would have been here, able to chase after the night. As a small example of why I didn't like particularly making fouls as a generic statement. But the thing is, like, the problem is with like generic statements like Necro and Get Farms and stuff. Like, there's more to it than that, isn't it? It's why whenever anyone ask, asks for advice on, like, you know, how do I beat lizard men with orcs and stuff like that, and you know, those kind of Reddit things, and they get advice like, Hit bl blitz the skinks and stuff. It's like you can't just uh, you can't just uh, you know respond to things with a snappy one-liner, can you? 
It's, uh... The answer is be good at Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the, that's the thing. Play better than your opponent. <laughs> yes, if your advice is moronic, then you can. But uh, <laughs> if you want to give the right answer, you can't. But the right answer is just play good blood ball. Or play better than your opponent. Or roll better than, roll better than your opponent is, is generally good advice. And that actually is advice, right? In some matches, you've got to try to high roll. Uh, no, Ollie, no, Ollie. No, I couldn't give two fucks about that. Just told me. <laughs> to be honest. Oh, there was a Kaz. That could have been a Natty if he'd moved him back last turn. Just quietly. Well, one of the two Natties. It clashes with five idiots, and it was a pain in the ass to, to register. Maybe if the prize had been a thousand dollars and not a hundred. <laughs> you know, if, if the prize money had been a grand, maybe I would have done, but... Five idiots is on. Five idiots is much more important. And like, the, the signing up was a ball. And like, I just don't care. Like, it's not... Oh, sorry, Fuggy. It can be the fuck. It can stand for the fuck. Huh. I'd pay a hundred dollars to do five idiots. So there you go. Don't tell the other four. <laughs> Don't worry, Flicky. You can be the team fantastic representative. Pretty weird, I don't know. Like, I was gonna do it. I was gonna do it because why not, right? But, um, it was a ball ache to join. Um, I don't care, like, I still don't care about it. Like, that. there was never any caring about it. What is it? It's just a tournament. But like, I would do it. I would do it because you know it's fair enough, isn't it? You know, it's content. It is content, fair enough. But then when it came to the sign up, it was too much of a ball ache. So I thought, I just don't care. Do it. If I'd cared about it, maybe I would have gone through the hassle of signing up. Maybe if uh, all of the five idiots had signed up. <laughs> but, uh... mm. Oh yeah, they're mandatory. They're still for. Oh well, they, they said they reserve the right to cancel it if they uh, if they don't get thirty-two or something. It was weird. It was a really weird short notice thing as well, wasn't it? Like, I don't know. Wait, was there a riot? Yeah, another riot. There's uh, Andy Davos doing a tournament um, this weekend, like the coming weekend. Yeah, that's fair enough, J5. You were robbed. That was a fucking disgrace. Wait, what? Okay, he's gone. Why? Why is he? Why is he doing this? Okay. <laughs> I 
I mean, maybe more, I don't know. <laughs> Very good, yes, <laughs> Yep. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? You can be my wingman anytime. Oh, a Muppet. Bullshit. You can be mine. The biggest murderer among us. Glorious. Hello, Muppet. Hello, Muppet viewers. Were you, pl were you playing Blood Bowl, Muppet, I will you fucking dropkick Jesus. What a lunatic playing Blood Bowl. May I recommend Minecraft as a game to play? That's that's very fun. <laughs> that's a very fun game to play. Blood Bowl I would only watch. Oh, quick snap! We might we might get a counter one turn. Flip me! He can uh, he can blitz through the back line? Oh my god! Boy, howdy! It's time to get rowdy. No, you idiot! Th this guy goes forward one, so we can punch him. Right, at least he's gone there. Oof! That was that was horrendous. No offense. <laughs> no, you fucking idiot! <laughs> Wait, why? Go here, because you've got him. You've got another player you can use. You've got another player you can use. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Gets the pal. Oh, no. Oh my god. That was unbelievable. That was unbelievable. But yeah, had to have him there, right, in case of Sapao. And I know it's going to be a three dice and everything, but you have to have this guy there so we can punch back and stuff. Because you never know if you're going to roll pals and stuff. Do you? And I know I only needed two pushes, but still. It was, uh. I think you have to do that, right, because it's the 3D to get the extra push. Like, so you could just pow and pow. Like, it's so much, so much better to have him there. And yeah, extra push would have saved, failed, this would have saved the GFI fail. I don't know about the pass, though, right? I didn't look at the passes and everything. That's something you've got to think about. Um, like, when you get extra push and stuff. Also, to change the angle and maybe he's given an, uh, an intercept going the other way. So there's, there's, there's several factors, but... Um, well, there you go. A congratulations, plopping and commiseration stick. That was a really weird game. There was some, there was some horrendous play by Plopin. <laughs> horrendous play, and there was, there was some bad play by Stick. And I guess in the end, it all, you know, it was, it was a fun match to watch, definitely. So there you go. Thanks for the entertainment, guys. <laughs> and, and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.